This is the materials conversion code that I wrote in iLogic. Uh, this is just a test um, called RGB. It's a red cube, a green sphere, and a blue cone. Three solid bodies in a single part. What I'm going to do here is go to manage, make components, and I'll select two of them and click next and OK. I now have two parts that I just made. I'll make this invisible, the original part. Select both of these parts and create an assembly called RGB. I'll go into that assembly, go back to manage, and create a rule. All right, I worked out the code. This actually took quite a while. And I have the code on the website as well as the rest of these files if you want to download them. And play with it yourself, but you can see from the code that it digs into these parts. The color is located down here. Um, this is the part name and the solid body name. It's way at the end of the tree there. So it uh, gets the body name, the feature name, this is the feature and then sees what color it is and if it's red or whatever the case may be then it does all this stuff and what it is doing is adding a material property you can't automatically add material properties to um, multiple solid bodies you, you can't do very much of anything with them this would make a smart part with a say a hundred a hundred separate parts would automate the process once once you configure everything and create your output you run this and it'll skip over anything that's not there see I have two parts and this calls for this lists four parts I click OK it found the two parts that were there what color they were and responded by adding a material to them. You can't get a material to output out of a part like that, so unless you do this. Um, now it's cast iron. The red cube is cast iron and has a chrome finish. The blue cone is copper and has a oops got a dig way down there to see this it has a clean room floor color so now i got to write write the code for my eye cabinet so that it'll add the material properties and color properties um, whatever way I have it set before I use the make component command and on the other side it will add the materials that it needs to it'll save a whole lot of time um, especially if you're doing using the same part and it has a lot of different configurations and you're using it over and over and over again just as the eye cabinet would be used it'll save a ton of time but at some at some point this really needs to be part of inventor itself there's no reason why you can't add a material to the uh, the solid bodies here um, if you look here, you have the body properties and 
just color. That's it. Um, this stuff is not applicable because I didn't add a property to the top level part and adding a, a property to the top level part doesn't make much sense because then every part is going to have that property and what's the purpose of having a multi-solid um, multi-solid body part if they all have to be the same so this is a workaround. Um, it'll probably be turned into a macro or something to make it a little easier, but you can do it in, in iLogic for now. That's it for now. Um, if you go check out the opendesignproject.org, all the files for this are available. Thanks.